shoe cushioning may be less effective at preventing ankle injury during running and actually traditional running shoes, shoes that are enormously thickly cushioned and are generally very inflexible, stiff and rigid in structure may not only impair balance stability and landing judgment during running, which can be an open slot for an ankle injury, but may progressively weaken the ankles by weakening the feet by disengaging nerve activity in the feet as well as in the ankles. It's this type of sensory nerve disengagement that can be a major limitation to not only building stronger feet, but stronger ankles, which in turn may create fault lines in your landing stability during running, thereby creating underlying balance vulnerabilities, depleting your chances of potentially avoiding an ankle injury. Recent studies hint that trouble may arise during running when you can't fully feel the ground. And this is partly where an ankle injury can occur. The evidence is strong enough to conclude that at the bottom of the feet, sensory cues may be insufficient in thickly cushioned running shoes, which may result in diminished foot ground interaction awareness and may be a mechanical interference, which may collectively create real imbalances on the foot ankle complex during running, these are dominant risk factors for running related ankle injury. Under the current circumstances for most joggers, many joggers are injured and as a result, joggers will always continue to rely on thicker cushioned running shoes under the premise that these shoes will provide more stability support, more positive reinforcements for the ankles, but in reality, Nothing really changes in terms of underlying muscle strength and balances at the foot ankle complex, which may cause current injuries to linger or new injuries to arise because in traditional running shoes, the feet are boxed in to a dead end in terms of developing sustained foot strength and the sensory system starting at the foot that seems to work in conjunction with reflexive balance control becomes compromised or weakened the more you wear motion control stability thickly cushioned running shoes. In that regard, I think it's very noteworthy to bring up an important research paper that I came across that established a specific nerve condition of the foot that may be caused by long-term use of cushioned running shoes. The condition is called sensory insulation, also referred to as sensory deficiency or sensory starvation in the foot, which by large estimates, this type of sensory deprivation in the feet could cause balance problems during running. And also this kind of sensory deprivation at the feet does very little to improve foot strength. Since strengthening of the foot's intrinsic musculature deeply relies on rich sensory stimulation on the bottom of the bare foot, in which barefooting is the most optimal way to enrich this sensory stimulation, prompting the greatest increases in plantar foot nerve activity, which is accompanied by positive changes in blood oxygen needed to produce robustly positive changes in foot strength. This is really one of the novel elements of barefooting in that it's one of the best ways to produce outsized improvements in foot and ankle strength and also barefoot running firms up nerve networks that help string together potentially more efficient, more safe leg swing and foot strength mechanics. When the feet are weak, however, the ankles have to wrestle more with balance control during running. The ankles may need to work harder to compensate for the sensory deficit, for the strength deficit and the loss of function to some degree at the feet, which in turn could easily set the stage for an ankle injury. Therefore, sensory insulation may be one factor that could shape the risk of a running related ankle injury. The term sensory insulation was coined by Dr. Stephen Robbins, MD at McGill University, who is a leading authority on the health benefits of barefooting and is one of the researchers in the study, which is linked down below in the description box. Dr. Stephen Robbins work hints that most of the mechanical difficulties and most of the mechanical recklessness many runners face is by large estimates attributed to foot or plantar sensory insulation, which seems to be spurred on by long-term use of thickly cushioned running shoes, whereby shoe cushion induced sensory insulation at the feet may lead to poor sensory communication 
between the feet and the ankles and also greatly reduces ground feel sensory acuity which may consequentially take the controls off of landing stability during running. The study made the impressive argument that sensory insulation of the nerves in the bottom of the feet occurs when you wear thickly cushioned running shoes because the underfoot materials may significantly interrupt signaling transmission between pressure sensory nerves and other sensory nerve groups in the feet whereby low levels of sensory stimulation is strongly correlated to ill-adapted, forceful, impact-intensive, destable biomechanics, suggesting yet again these shoes, the traditional running shoe, can increase ankle injury risk. Another concern to acknowledge is that if you already have mechanical inadequacies, this sensory problem, sensory insulation, occurring at the feet spurred on by heavy dependence on thickly cushioned running shoes, may compound disorganized biomechanics more quickly, potentially causing balance control to dwindle and therefore may place a huge burden on the ankles during running. The researchers noted that when the sensory nerves in the feet are offline, like they tend to be when thickly cushioned running shoes are worn, the diminished sensory returns or diminished sensory engagement deflates the valuable positional sensory information to the ankle joint essential for added landing stability and dynamic postural control during running. This is where ankle injury proneness may arise during running. However, the researchers noted that when you run barefoot, the sensory insulation becomes less of a problem because the motor nerve communication highway between the feet and the ankles sends more clear signals, which may produce stronger effects in more fully engaged balance control and dynamic stability. This is one way running barefoot may offer a clear advantage in developing stronger ankles and how your balance control can be made better the more you run barefoot. The bottom line here in this video is that indeed, there is research showing that your feet and ankles may grow weak and stay that way if you forever wear thickly cushioned running shoes, but there's research showing that thickly cushioned running shoes may change or interfere with the communication outlets between the nerves in the bottom of the feet and the nerves in the ankle joint in a way that may cause balance impairments to manifest at the ankle, which may have a destabilizing ripple effect up the kinetic chain due to ankle instability during running. In a big way, Dr. Stephen Robbins' work fits into a continuum of complementary anecdotal observations, which contain many examples of how thickly cushioned running shoes may be a huge part of the problem when it comes to maintaining a strong foot ankle complex and how traditional running shoes may contribute to ankle injuries through sensory insulation and that the relevance of Dr. Robin's work demonstrates that much of the ankle strength and stability may come from the sensory input on the bare foot in which this rich sensory input seems to be transformed into the physical changes necessary to ensure a stronger foot ankle complex, which may serve as an outstanding factor for helping to prevent ankle injury because when you run barefoot, the nerves in the bottom of the bare foot are not sensory insulated. Rather, they are more optimally activated, more hyper-responsive, more hyper-communicative. This sensory surge broadly spreads to the ankle joint and helps enhance ankle position sense, resulting in greater mechanical stability assistance from the ankles and may overall provide better more steady and secure footstep stability during running. So I just wanted to give you a more broader view on how thickly cushioned running shoes may lead to sensory deprived feet, which may cause balance problems at the ankle and how running barefoot can help toughen your mechanical defenses by stimulating the feet in ways that may provoke the greatest increases in ankle strength and balance stability, which in turn, may be more successful in influencing ankle injury prevention. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for listening and watching. And if you would like to learn more about the evidence-based facts on the health benefits 
of Barefoot Running, hit the subscribe button below. Have fun out there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.